Hey guys, okay, a while back I posted a video regarding a service I had done to my 2019 Nissan Frontier Pro 4X called Black Gold. A few things popped up from that video in the comments and in this week's video, I'm gonna clear the air regarding those comments. So a bit of a backstory, I had my truck serviced at my local Nissan dealership and had them take a look at a few problem areas. Uh, the total amount was just ridiculous and some of the fixes I had to go back and fix myself. Here's the deal, I have some old buddies that work at this dealership and I was just merely taking it there because, well, I like supporting my friends. I haven't been back since that video and since those fixes. I've started to take my truck to a family owned run shop here in town. I know them well. They're huge supporters of the local off-roading community and they're also active off-roaders. So they really know what we do and what we need. I've pointed so many family and friends uh, in their direction purely because, well, I trust them. I know they care and I know they do a very good job. This brings me up to a point in the comments of that video. Why don't I just do the work myself? Well, I used to work on my own vehicles. I did restore a truck by myself with some help from some buddies. That's when I lived in Alberta. I've lived in BC for a few years now and the rental situation is a bit different. It's actually against my rental agreement to do any sort of automotive work in the parking lot. So I have to take it somewhere. Trust me, if I could do the work myself at my home, I would. I miss working on my own vehicles. Someday, though, it'll happen again. I'll have my own place where I can do whatever I want. For now, though, I have to take it somewhere else to get the work done. Uh, another point made in the comments was regarding the no heat and idle situation. Now, this is a little bit common with these engines. Somebody in Nissan goofed up a long time ago, but oh well. It, it's a simple fix. As a matter of fact, I knew the fix and did have it fixed before I took it to the dealer. I just wanted to see what their solution was. In the end, their fix didn't do the trick. I fixed it myself again and the truck now blows beautiful warm air and idle. Problem solved. If you have the same issue as I had with mine, all I did was just add a bit more coolant into the system. You can also flush it all out and there's ways to get rid of the air pockets in the system, which are also some other fixes too. But my issue was the full line on the reserve tank just wasn't in the right spot. And it was pointed out in the comments, HVAC systems are extremely finicky. Now I've really never had much luck with dealerships, domestic or import. I had multiple serious issues with past vehicles that I've purchased from dealerships. And I doubt I'll ever buy another vehicle from a dealership again. As for the pricing of that service, part of that is, yeah, I did kind of get ripped off in comparison to other places in North America, but where I live, everything is just a bit more expensive. As I said earlier in this video, I haven't been back and I've switched to a local shop to work on my truck. You'll see that shop in future videos. That's absolutely for sure. And as for the comment about me really being a car guy, I am a car guy. Just because I don't have a huge hangar filled with exotic, expensive, modified cars like some other automotive YouTubers doesn't make me less of a car guy. I enjoy the drive. I enjoy working on them. I enjoy hunting around for parts, scavenging junkyards, exploring the vehicles of old show and shines adventures, Vehicles are a huge part of who I am on and off YouTube and how I define myself. Vehicles are my escape from my reality. They're my happy place, my release, my therapy. Do I wish I had a nice fun JDM car for the summer roadies? Oh, yeah, but right now, just not in the cards. Someday soon, I hope. Do I wish I had my square body GMC? Oh yeah, you bet I do. I love that truck and it killed me when I had to sell it to move to BC. Right now though, my priority is saving up for a spot of my own, like I said, to do all this work myself, to buy another project truck and perhaps maybe a fun summer car too. Life can take many turns and this pandemic kind of took my progress in life and it rewind a bit. But I firmly believe that you need the hard times to appreciate the good times. The hard times teach you 
things that the good times can. So we're back on our way to the good times. If you want to watch that video I'm speaking of, you can check it out in the description below. Other than that, this video was really just to address some of those comments. Let's keep it respectful, friendly, and positive in the comments, just like all over YouTube. And let's build each other up. That's what the car community is for. Thanks for watching, guys. Be sure to hit that subscribe button, and we'll see you next time. Have fun. Get her done.